If a washing machine won't spin or agitate or won't start at all, it's possible the appliance's lid or door lock is malfunctioning. You should first confirm the lid or door actually locks during operation and the indicator light is illuminated. If the lock does not appear to be functioning, you can use a multimeter to test the component's solenoid coil wires for electrical continuity, a continuous electrical path present in the coil which actuates the pin to lock the lid or door. To do this, you will need to disconnect the lid or door lock wire connector from the control board. The control board can normally be found in the control housing on top load models and under the top panel on front load models. Be sure to unplug the appliance's power cord before beginning any disassembly. Once you've accessed the board, refer to the appliance's wiring diagram to identify the location of the lid or door lock wire connector, then disconnect the connector from the board. Rotate the multimeter's range selection dial to the lowest setting for ohms of resistance. Contact the black and red meter leads to the appropriate connector terminals. If the meter display indicates between 50 and 150 ohms of resistance, the lid or door lock solenoid coil has continuity and should be functioning properly. Keep in mind, even if the coil tests positive for continuity, the status switch within the lock assembly could still be faulty and the entire assembly will need to be replaced. However, if the meter display indicates no electrical continuity, you'll know for sure the solenoid coil has failed and you will need to install a new lid or door lock.